Saturday. It's the 27th of January. I wanted to do this particular walk to show you around Wexford Town about the last two weeks, but we've been absolutely pummeled with rain, wind, storms, hurricanes, and everything. So I stand here right in front of the Art Centre, the Wexford Art Centre. Um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you, we're going to walk around to all the murals that have been put up in the, the recent times um, to show off and highlight some features of our local artists. Um, it was spawned by uh, the, um, the art exhibitions that they had up in Enniscordy on the, uh, the, the history of the uprising and stuff like that. So what they decided through the well, Wexford Art Centre with help with the, uh, the local local development, the uh, councillors and businesses and that to fund this little project where they're going to have I'm going to show eight different uh, projects and we're going to show you what it looks like. Now obviously it would be nice to have a beautiful sunny day but at least it's not raining um, so I'm going to take you on this little tour. We're going to show you uh, what the artist art looks like and I'll give you a little bit of history of who the artist is and what it is they, they inspired them to create that work. Now today it shouldn't be too too long, it'd be a short little way. I'm heading to um, Bulgaria. Uh, by this time next week I'll be in Bulgaria because I'm leaving Friday evening and we're gonna be there for uh, five days, four nights, staying in a hostel. So make sure that you uh, hit that subscribe button and the bell button to be notified when the video is posted up. Uh, right up here I'm going to put up a link for the murals when I went to the Falls Road in Belfast. That's my most popular video right now. It has uh, almost 15,000 views. Um, thank you very everyone who helped uh, sub subscribe to my channel. I am now fully monetized, so I will be getting So if you're watching those videos and that, let the ads run a bit, because that gives me more, more revenue on that. And if you really want to help support me, because I have plans to go to Azerbaijan, which is already booked, I want to go to uh, Pakistan after that sometime in September and I have a whole bunch of other stuff so I need support with that you can just hit the the super thanks and it's like if you want to buy me a coffee it's as little as two euros five euros ten euros whatever you want and that'll help me out but we're gonna start off with the first one and I'll show you what it's like and we'll tell you what it's about with some nice music in the background too okay this one is uh, presented by Shane O'Malley when researching Wexford Town, Shane was drawn to the history of the area, in particular the Westgate Tower, the last surviving of the six towers that encompassed Wexford Town in the 13th century. Shane's murals explores uh, the architecture of the semi-circular Norman arcs, mixing it with the uh, forms, perspectives, and color palettes that have become synonymous with Shane's mural designs. Approach the second one, and this one's done by Mariana Santos. After researching stories about the historic Selsker Abbey, Mariana found a tale of King Henry II visiting the Abbey to pay penance for the murder of Thomas Becket. Henry II's knights assassinated Thomas Becket because of ongoing conflicts between the king and the priest. This mural focuses on T.S. Eliot's retelling of the assassination and verse drama, Murder in a Cathedral, which has been seeing adaptations globally throughout theatre and film. Okay, number three is Amex Mural. Uh, marks Wexford's legacy as the first place in Ireland to record the presence of magpies. Tales tell of the flock of 12 getting caught in a strong wind across the Irish Sea in 1676 and lighting in the barony of the fort. 
the south of Wexford Town. From there, they proliferated across Ireland. This symbol of fortune also serves as a lesson of history in the adjacent Wexford Art Centre, which opened up originally in a bustling market house a century after the Magpies landed. The dancing figure references the Wexford Art Centre status in 2023, a vibrant hub of visual and performing arts of Wexford Town. Now we come up to the fourth. This is by Fritz on John Skate Street. While researching his mural, visual artist Fritz checked the Duchess Project archives and discovered an entry mentioning a fairy woman who lived on John Skate Street in Wexford Town, who learned the art of healing from the local fairies. Fritz created this whimsical design based on this tale, which shows a woman collecting lavender, guided by glowing lights of fairy companions. This image is framed by other magical healing elements such as dandelions, hawthorn, honey, and nettles. Hope you're enjoying that so far. Now, if that's the first four that I've showed, and we have a short walk to the next four that we're gonna see. So it's a short enough walk. It's easy to do on your own. Um, there's no hills, and we're walking right beside the Wexford Library on the little high street here. This one's called Mallon and it becomes High Street. Um, so it's very uh, interesting so far. Like I said, I'll be putting all the descriptions in with some music. I'm just showing you what it is like. Now we'll get up to the next two that are relatively close by. We're just walking by the Opera House, the National Opera House. This is where everyone comes in October for about 10 days, 14 days, in conjunction with the Spiegel tent. So I'll put the links right up above for my opening day of the Opera House. I did the whole opening ceremonies. And I'll also put a link for the Spiegel tent where I show you what the Spiegel tent looks like. We should be coming up to two of them relatively close by. Now, here's number five by Amon, who painted the incredible mural of Wexford Festival Opera Roots in Mind here in 1951, where the world-renowned festival was established by the members of the Wexford Gramophone Society. We've come a long way since the days of gathering around a gramophone, but this mural puts a much worthy spotlight on the humble device and the group of people who played a crucial role in the initial growth of this annual hometown, homegrown festival. Now quickly, we're on our sixth. It's titled Per Aquium A Ignemne, which is the uh, coat of arms for Wexford. Uh, ADW basis mural on Wexford's coat of arms to reflect the town's rich local history on heritage and contemporary twist. These ingredients of Wexford's history are masterfully intertwined with classic street art, styles and del uh, delicious collage of gradients, half tones and graphic design elements. Appropriately named through fire and water, the translation of the Latin coat of arms, this mural is located on the former Society of Friends meeting house, now owned by the Lock Garman Band, and features an illustrated comic book nod to the legacy of the Quakers community in Wexford. You walk by this old graveyard, and that was part of the, uh, the haunted tour. Uh, I'll put the link up above there for that, uh, with Paul Walsh, very interesting. He does the tours, daily tours as well, in Wexford Town. But in Halloween time, he does a little special one that's done at night time, leading up to Halloween. Very, very interesting. So I have the link just above there if you wanted to go see that. Now just walking down this little alleyway and to the left, it'll be the seventh one. We're almost finished. The seventh one, and then we'll be up to another street over a little bit of longer of a walk to Carrigan Street. Like I said, I have the map linked in at the beginning. I'll show you. It's a nice and easy walk. You can pick up a copy of the the walk at the uh, Wexford Art Center. Here we go. Now this brings us to our seventh mural on our walk. It's designed by the Ashes iconic style, which plays with added and subtractive color scheme in the theories. This colossal swan mural, which is located on Peter Street, was inspired by the cast swan, which can be found and located in the fight. 
older than the other statues like the Shepherd's Pikeman, which is in the Boring, and William's Commodore Barry, which is located on Crescent Quay. The Swan Sculpture was built in the era of 1888 and is dedicated by the uh, County Wexford Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Located right across from this old hardware store. This is on Peter Street. You just walk up Peter Street now. And for those of you who remember, I've done the uh, the book the bookstore that I frequent, Red Books. It's just up on the street, up and to the right. final one from our tour it's by Peter Martin and it's inspired by the legendary uh, figure of Zorro many are familiar with the Hollywood figure from Zorro and a lot of people don't know that the original character was based or inspired by a Wexford born adventurer William Lamport uh, born in 1611 the mural recognizes the life of accomplishments of Lamport um, also known as Don Guillen de Lamport an internationally renowned revolutionary, swordsman, pirate, spy, Don Guillén worked to overthrow obsolete monarchies across Spain and Mexico, schemed rebellions against slavery and colonial rule. He envisioned the democratic systems of society equal and independence across Mexico. Don Guillén is was imprisoned for 17 years and sentenced by the Mexican Inquisition in 1659 to be burnt at the stake as a heretic. This is the final one of the tour. Now, those of you who have watched my other videos, especially the one in the rocks in Modlin Town, the flight area, you'll notice that there is other murals throughout the town, but these are the eight that have been sponsored by the Art Centre and the County Council. So, be, feel free to, uh, to walk around the town outside of these ones and see the other ones that are here. Um, I'll, like I said, I gave you the description of what they were for, who the artists were, and that, so I hope you enjoyed that part. If you're really curious about the murals and that, you can go 30 kilometers just outside of Wexford Town to New Ross area, and there's a whole bunch in New Ross. And I showed that on my video when I did the tour of New Ross, so I'll link that above as well. And then finally, you can always go to Inniscorty, which is 21 kilometers north, and then you can see all of its, uh, the, art, the, the murals that they have there. And it has a good description if you want to take the, uh, the, the Inniscorty Castle. Uh, tour you go inside there and they have a display that explains the murals that they have up there So I hope you enjoyed that. It was a quick one there. Now. I'm getting ready for the uh, the Bulgaria trip Hope you're looking forward as much as I am. I'm uh, just Itching to go. I have my bag list sort of ready and today I also ran to the credit union and I picked up my uh, Bulgarian live I got some money in that just so I have some cash just when I get there, if I need money for the bus or the, the train or whatever, I think it's a bus that goes into town or maybe a taxi. Who knows? We'll see. But thanks again for joining me. Hit that subscribe button, please. And don't forget, if you want to support the channel, hit that super thanks. Thank you.